Good evening. So I've been playing and talking about the ESP8266 for a while. It's one of my favourite little devices. If you've been building stuff with it, then I think this video is for you. So I'm not affiliated and this isn't paid, but I think it's pretty cool and I'm quite fired up about it. So the ESP8266 board, that is their forum online, sponsored I think probably by the people who make it, or maybe it's just a bunch of geeks who've gotten together and enjoy these things. They're having a design contest right now, March of 2016. Um, if you aren't sure about the ESP8266 and what this thing is, then see my video here, where I'll introduce this device and what it does and why it's great fun and why you can build lots of cool little gadgets with it. So people who've been playing with these with a neat idea and building cool gadgets in this competition have a chance of winning cash. Um, and I, the cash is, eh, it's not a lot, but the bragging rights, I mean, you know, you've built something awesome and the community have voted and said they like your thing. Um, and to enter it, you've got to describe your gadget in detail. So I've got a few of the different kinds of ESP here. Um, these are all the larger versions. Um, there's the ESP01, which is a smaller, fewer pin version. And you can connect them to LEDs. You can connect them to one of these, which is an LED multicolor matrix. You could connect it to this device, which is, it's a speech recognition device. So you program it, it gives you back serial based on what you speak to it. And you could connect this to ESP so you could have some kind of voice activated device with Wi-Fi with a bit of computing. You could connect something like this, which is a sensor module. So it senses distance. This particular one is connected to a little servo motor. So it gives you a panning distance thing. Great for robots. Um, I've been in some of my other video series and I'm yet to publish another video I've done in the series building a, a small, simple floor rover robot with ESP. Um, and you can even, and I'll show these from the robot cupboard, you can go to somewhere like Banggood or Alibaba or whatever, and you can get a box of sensors like this, which is full of all kinds of different sensors. And with a little bit of research and probably a bit of fiddly coding and so on, you can get those sensors all to do things with ESP. So you could do data recording, you could build some device in your home which changes something based upon some information, time of day, so on and so forth. Um, but the important thing is that you've built it, you've kind of made it work, you've then got a write-up about it so other people could have a go at building it. It doesn't have to be open source, so they say that not all of them do, but if they are, they'd like to have the code, the design, the bill of materials, the hardware. Um, so they're taking submissions from today, so there's the 1st of March 2016, and here is a link with lots of info telling you how to enter and what to do with it. Um, so. You can describe, show off your product, project. I'm personally into projects that move because I like robots, I'm somewhat biased here. But hey, lights are fun, all kinds of sensors can be interesting. I'll admit I'm not that interested in data logging, but other people might be. Um, so they're doing it until the 13th of March, so you do need to move quickly. And if you've already got a project, then a little bit of polish and there's no reason not to have a go. So good luck. When you've made a submission, Post it in the comments below on the YouTube channel and I'll check it out. And I suspect other people in my community will check it out too. Um, so it's just another way because they say once you've got your, your submission, go let everybody know because you want the community to vote for it. You want people to actually get in behind your project and say, yes, this is awesome. Um, so give me a thumbs up if this was fun and you've enjoyed talking about the ESP and you're going to have a play with this uh, competition. Uh, and subscribe for more ESP8266, robot stuff, Lego stuff, electronic stuff, frankly, whatever I feel like and get excited and geek about. And uh, I'll see you next time. Good night.